Hello everyone, welcome to Automate with UiPath. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you about the message box. Why we use message box? We use a message box to display the specified text and button options. So let's see how it will work. I'm just taking the message box into a simple sequence. We can write whatever the text we want. I'm writing the hello world. So let's run this one and see how it is work. Hello world. We have that message box stating that hello world. Do you know we can also customize this message box as per our requirement? So let's see. Let's check in the property panel. So if you check in the property panel, we have a different types of option over here. I am just having the button option. And in the button option also, we have the different types of options. So I'm selecting S yes, now cancel over here. So not only this, we can actually store this option and use it. Uh, this in the further part of the automation. Further, I'm going to choose the button and create a variable. So, okay. so I'm using the right line activity to print the output. I'm passing the variable. So next, let's debug this code. We have the option yes, no, cancel. So I'm selecting no here to check the result. So if you observe here, the no was captured in the output. So apart from this, we have a different types of options uh, in the properties like uh, caption. So I'm just giving the caption here. Okay. So, and also we can give the customized time, like uh, giving for three seconds so that it, whatever the message box we have, that will disappear after three seconds. So I, got, I have the caption here and the message box got disappear after three seconds. Simple, this is how the message box will work in UiPath. Thank you.